Snyder and Cohorn the slot back to the wide side. Nil the wide out on the right. There's Woodson the slot on the near side, along with Dobko on the second and eight play. Glavich floats it up over the middle and it's incomplete. And what a hit over the middle and not moving is Matt Walter as he was knocked out stone cold coming across the middle to make the contact was Bryce McCall, the fifth year safety who had that one read from about five yards away. Glavich puts that ball up and pretty much, that was Woodson that caught that in a second play. We don't need another receiver from Calgary getting hurt here. Glavich throwing the ball high, Bryce McCall timing it and just ticking Woodson under the chin and Woodson's down in the field now. I don't know if those are birds flying around his head right now or those are stars, but he, he looks like he's uh, down flat and Glavich floats it up over the middle and it's incomplete. And what a hit over the middle. That, that was Moving. Anthony Woodson it's and that Matt. was not uh, Matt Walter. And Woodson has been a guy that is, as you mentioned, sustained injuries. Uh, it's a real report from the infirmary when it comes to Mr. Woodson. You just In 2007, saw he led the Canada West in rushing with 1,183 yards. 2008, broken ribs. 2009, a foot and shoulder injury that kept him out of action for the entire year. And now this, a very talented player drafted by Winnipeg in the fourth round, 29th overall, and now he is motionless down on the field at the 25. They've got the stretcher out in the field for Woodson now, but again, Glavich throws the ball a little high. Woodson, with confidence, goes up high to get the ball, exposing himself in his shoulders, and there is Bryce McCall coming in, putting helmet on helmet, and we saw Blake Nill out in the field, furious, and I think he's calling for a headshot on that one. And that was uh, the reason for him out there. You look at him now, he's pointing to the referee. He's looking for a call after the play. We won't see that, but he is uh, in a position now where he's just lost another one of his all-star receivers who was supposed to, supposed to come into the game, limited play, and now it looks like that'll be the case. But a lot of the medical team out there looking at Woodson right now and the hope that uh, the injury wasn't to the neck or the, oh, you can see uh, on another of our highlights, uh, I'm looking at it and it is an impact. Bryce McCall had it timed perfectly and put the hit on Woodson. Maybe if the folks in the truck can uh, roll it back on that hit again, we can uh, show you the head to head hit. And that's what has Blake Nill so upset. Uh, folks in the stadium also have the opportunity to see the replay at the very same time you were seeing it at home. And that was the initial reaction a few uh, minutes ago, uh, a series of boos from the Calgary faithful here after seeing that head-to-head -head hit uh, replayed. Uh, Bryce McCall, I think, reacting to the ball, following through, putting his head down as uh, the receiver Woodson was coming down. I don't think it was intentional by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, in the Canadian Football League, they're cracking down on head-to-head -head hits on the quarterback. This is something in amateur football that they need to look at in terms of cracking down upon that helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit. Let's go downstairs to Brendan. Guys, just to re-emphasize what you're talking about, I'm standing here on the Dino sideline. It's completely silent right now after the passionate outburst from the sideline upon seeing the first replay. And I'll tell you right now, they don't want to see it anymore. That's what a lot of them are saying. And they're saying the same things, is that it's him helmet to helmet, and that's what's bothering a lot of the players. And the fact that it's Anthony Woodson, it's troubling a lot of them. They're uh, very, very fired up, though, on this sideline. I think they're planning on using it to their positive. Well, hey. And the, and the problem here, as I mentioned before, with Anthony Woodson, uh, who if he can manage to find a way to stay healthy, uh, this guy possibly has a CFL career ahead of him. He does have the physical talent. His problem throughout his career has been staying healthy, and uh, that is highly unfortunate. He came into this game at about 80%, and uh, with that head-to-head uh, -head hit, uh, I would think that he's probably going to take another year off and take another medical leave. We don't know what's happening here, but both training staffs are out in the field. They have uh, Woodson being placed 
onto a backboard to take him out. No emergency vehicles yet on the field. The Saskatchewan bench and the Saskatchewan uh, off defensive team is on their knee in respect, quietly looking at the situation. Calgary players on their sideline, finding out, getting together, looking on the field with concern, and you don't like to see this. The rain is falling down even further, allowing the players to cool down, get a little cold, but they're gonna make sure they do what they doing what they have to do to protect and stabilize his neck, body, and again, Woodson, not injury prone, but riddled with injuries. This is uh, just a catastrophic uh, <laughs> ailment to Calgary with, by losing both Woodson and Parker here early in the season and early in this game. Well, the uh, emotion has simmered down from Blake Nill as he gets soaked along the sideline, adding uh, this rain adding a bit of a somber note uh, in addition to the condition of Anthony Woodson. I think it's gone from emotional outburst to grave concern, looking out on the field, making sure and seeing of Woodson, not knowing what his condition fully is. At point of the contact, it looked like he was knocked out. He just had his head fall to the side. His arms and feet were motionless and in a position now where it looks like a severe injury. This can go one of two ways for the Calgary Dinos when we get back to the context of the game. Either this is something that uh, they use to, to rally and, and focus with, or this could take the emotion out of the game, not only for Calgary, but it could take it out of the game for the Saskatchewan Huskies too, uh, uh, because uh, the crowd here of about 2,500 or so is uh, fallen silent, both benches have fallen silent. Uh, uh, people are wanting to see some sort of encouraging sign from that uh, medical huddle around Anthony Woodson down at the 25 yard line. As they progress through the checkup here and taking care and looking at Anthony, they've taken off his helmet, they've cut his jersey off, they've removed his shoulder pads, usually which is a sign of severe injury and they want to mobilize him on the backboard and again the rain's falling players are getting cold cooling down and again though quite concerned about Woodson's status Calgary now gathering on the sidelines huddling up discussing what's going to happen here after we uh, clear the situation and hopefully everything is well with Woodson and they're just taking precaution 25-13, Saskatchewan leading the Calgary Dinos here at McMahon Stadium in Calgary. 10 uh, like I said, 10-20 uh, in this third quarter. And uh, it's a third and eight situation facing the Calgary Dinos when this game gets started up again. But uh, if you're just tuning in, Calgary slot back Anthony Woodson uh, knocked to the turf, lay motionless after a head-to-head -head hit uh, laid out by Bryce McCall. And I think McCall was, uh, at least in his mind, simply doing his job out there. And uh, with that uh, hit, uh, we've had about a 10-minute delay here in the rain at McMahon Stadium. Again, looking at that hit, I, I do not think it was intentional. He was coming in and lining up Woodson. Woodson reached up for the ball going through his hands a little high. I think he was turning to see the movement and the pass, the uh, line of the ball. And when he did, his head turned, face, and McCall was right there making the contact. And Woodson going down, you'll see right here that there was no moving after. And now Blake Nill, players, and a couple of the other trainers are coming out onto the field to discuss with the referees that non-call and his injury. I don't know if Blake Nill is now yelling over to the Saskatchewan bench. And someone trying to restrain him, pull him back. Well, if he's yelling at someone named Dad, that uh, would be defensive coordinator Ed Carlton. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I think Blake Nill, uh, discretion is a better part of valor here in this situation. Uh, if uh, 
in a situation like this with an injured player down, uh, I think he would be wise uh, to curb his emotion out on that field right now and uh, settle down, motivate his troops and focus back on football in this situation as emotional as it is and as much as he wants to stand up for his player. Oh, re red. Right now, the referee, Calgary, is getting a objectionable conduct and was probably discussion and talk either from Blake Nill or players that were walking back off the field. But Calgary doesn't need to get emotionally involved right now, although it's tough not to. I've seen one of your better players, a player down on the ground, on a backboard, his equipment cut off. And Calgary needs to kind of regroup, figure out what they're going to do here. And I'm looking at the depth chart, figuring what, to, what receiver is going to come back in and be able to uh, help out here with the uh, receiving core. They've got listed here Emilo Zikovic, uh, Zikovic, which is an SFU product that might be coming in as an inside receiver position after we have the situation in this severe injury to Woodson cleared off the field. Milo Zipkovic is a quality receiver when he can get into the groove. Uh, he was uh, certainly a one-man army against the Saskatchewan Huskies in a semifinal game going uh, back two years. Coming up with several key catches. With the lack of emergency equipment on the field, some of the trainers and some of the big Calgary offensive linemen have come out to carry that stretcher and carry Woodson off the field, covered in a blanket to keep dry and warm. But the concern on the backboard, Calgary, the coaches, the players, seeing him carried off, some of the players coming out to the field to wish him well, to talk to him. Well, I know that uh, Brendan Parker will be down in the middle of that and get an update for us on the status of Anthony Woodson. Uh, as soon as possible from the uh, Calgary medical staff as uh, he gets ushered off. You saw Blake Nill out in the field being angry at somebody, and if it was somebody on the uh, Saskatchewan's bench, I don't think any of the coaches or any of the players would intentionally go out and try and hit someone high. It was just a situation of the play, and the severity of the play has created a lot of emotion for these players. Outside the stadium, you can see the ambulance and the medical vehicle coming into the stadium as they walk Parker off the field on a backboard. And again, a lot of concern. Well, hopefully cooler heads prevail and uh, both these teams now focus.